golfers. I am a golf science consultant. That means that I offer viable solutions based on a host of movement sciences such as structural anatomy, motor control and biomechanics to offer viable solutions to not just golfers but to golf instructors and even physical therapists and chiropractors. So here's an example. Of late, a lot of golf instruction has been directed in this direction. After your typical golf swing, drop your trail side down and pull the hands in exaggeratedly. So uh, that's something that I've not understood for the reason that golfers are already doing this given that any time you have a forward flex spine and rotate around it, you're going to lift the trail side. Now what that does from a muscle physiology point of view is it stretches all the muscles of your core, your external obliques, your powerful shoulder muscles that are your pecs and your lats and also your serratus anterior which is the protractor of your scapula. So all these muscles are stretched in an upward direction because of this movement and then they all just drop down all together to create a position that's really not good for golf. Additionally, we know from motor control that the central nervous system will always organize itself based on efficiency of motion and one of the ways it does this is to harness gravity. So given both of these uh, ideas, you're going to get a strongly downward movement of your entire trail side torso. What this does is it serves to reduce the distance between the trail shoulder and the wrist. And my friend Chris Welch, who's a very famous person in baseball batting and pitching analysis, has said that the trail elbow must extend to increase the distance between the sternum and the wrist, which is what he terms as bat release after which only can the shoulder internally rotate and the forearm pronate to give you extra speed. Unless you have the force of early elbow extension, you're not going to get maximum power. And wh why would golfers make you exaggerate this move? They say that if you use this movement, you're less likely to have a, a quick rate of closure, which they claim is bothering uh, the shots that golfers make to the left. A lot of times the professional makes these shots and don't even know what's happening. So I say rate of closure, Pff, what's that? All you need to do is arrive with your upper torso slightly inside the target line and you get a maximum lever of the lead uh, shoulder, arm and club shaft and you stay down the target line for a little longer. You're unable to rotate through. All of this serves to keep your rate of closure reduced. Of course, the way to come from the inside requires a specific combination of positions that I have developed based on 27 years of research. So if you want to know more about my secret sauce, whether you're a golfer who's keen to be a good golfer, whether you're a golf instructor who needs to know more about the sciences, or you're a physical therapist, chiropractor who can help many golfers have less injury, simply get in touch.